Everyone's ready to party. What is this? Excuse you. The party is rocking without Emily. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So you'd better watch out, folks. Whoa, smooth criminal. What's up, guys? Oh, what's with this overload of ping pong balls, huh? It's time to turn the tables. Why bother with classic ping pong when we can play a match of ping tac toe instead? Arrange those glasses of water like this. In order to win, you need to score three in a row, just like the classic tic-tac-toe. Two teams, three versus three. This is where the ping pong bounces in. Go! The orange team seems to have a good starting point already. But the white is following closely behind. The orange team strikes again! Their offense is overwhelming. The white is perfect at precision, but the orange is slaying with the quantities. And victory goes to the orange team! Congratulations! Today you have proven to be the ping pong champion. Everyone gets to be a champion today. And off she goes. To the next stage. Another hangout, another party activity is obviously needed here. What you playing, guys? Hey folks, guess who I am? Ms. Sticky Eyebrows? <laughs> Wait, there's another epic game you can play with an overload of sticky notes. If you're brave enough for the sticky challenge, that is. You heard it. The goal of this game is to stick as many notes on your face as possible. But the thing is, you've got only one minute for this. Go, 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 go! This game isn't just about the biggest face, that's for sure. <laughs> Oops, you can't let your points fall off your face, ladies. What energy, what tension! Guess who I am now? It's getting pretty difficult to answer that since their faces are all covered up. <laughs> And time's up. Let's count those sticky notes and reveal your faces. Not bad, Jess. Way to go, Madison. But the winner today is Emily. Congratulations, girl. Next up is Jacob's party. Pantyhose, what are you planning to do with that? This is an epic balloon game that you will never get out of your head. Almost literally. You will need some balloons as well. Actually, the more, the better. But they shouldn't be too big. Why, you may ask? They have to fit inside the pantyhose that is on your head. The longest stack of balloons wins. Three, two, one, go! You've only got this much time, so better hurry. Heads up, balloon stacks too. The winner takes it all. Magic bean plant or not, these towers gotta reach the clouds as soon as possible. This challenge sure requires a pair of strong lungs, doesn't it? <laughs> How can they even blow up those balloons so fast? It sure blows my mind. <laughs> Come on, pop up those balloon towers, guys. Just be careful with the balloons themselves. Okay, that looks hilarious already. In the end, length is what matters, not height. Ready for the moment of truth? 50 centimeters. Not bad, Emily, not bad. But Jacob's result is totally mind-blowing. Your head may be filled with lots of hot air, but this time you surely earned yourself a prize and a reason to be declared the winner of this game. Meanwhile, we've got some more parties to attend. With a bang, Emily enters another hangout. Softly, at least. That carpet sure is magical, being there where Emily fell. But it ain't flying. At least, not yet. Wanna race on flying carpets? 
Use masking tape to draw the start and finish lines on the floor. The distance is up to you and the room. You will need a small soft rug that can slide on the floor easily and race without putting your foot directly on the floor, that is. Two teams, two players each, two rounds. Round one begins in three, two, one, go! That's some flying carpet racing over there. <laughs> Quick, partner switch. Who's the fast and furious one, Jess? But there's still a whole round to go. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who wins. The process is fun and magical in itself. Come on, come on, come on! You can do it! Hooray! Jessica and Emma, today the victory is yours. Off to the next room. Lucas is throwing a magic party to show off all his cool card tricks. But the girls are a bit fed up with the same is this your card set up for the 15th time in a row. Emily's seen it all already. But you know what this reminds her of? Do you remember that old circus trick with knives? How about flinging your cards at those soft watermelons? Holy entertainment, Batman. Come on, girls. Let's divide in two groups and play the card throwing game. The point of this fun activity is to make as many cards stick to the watermelon as possible. No picking up the ones you threw already. Once the deck is out, you're done. Let's count it. Emily has four, while Emma has five. We didn't know you were so good at this, girl. Maybe it's your hidden talent. What's that? Watching some televised football game? Even the reruns are worth revisiting now. What's that, Adam? Do you have an idea how to shake things up? Take an elastic band and sew the ends together. Attach a step counter. This is, well you guessed it, the step counter game. Put the elastic band on your head and reset the count. Set a timer to one minute and try to take as many steps as possible. Just don't get too dizzy, of course. Play with your friends. The one with the most steps wins. This is getting intense. All our contestants are bursting with competitive spirit. Reset, get ready, steady, shake it. Each of the players presents a different technique. Which will be the one to score the most points? Three, two, one, stop. Let's check who's won. Pretty good, Adam. Wow, that's even better. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a clear winner. Jessica, you rocked your head all the way to the first place. Hey, Crafty Pandas. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Some people come to the school library to study. Some are here to just relax a bit. Almost, almost. Ah, what is wrong with this thing? So much for relaxation. Did you expect to have a proper environment for gaming in the school library? Really? No smashing the school equipment today. Grab a piece of fabric of your choice. I'm pretty sure you've got an overuse cork placement somewhere. Cover it with glue. Let's hide the whole surface of it. This is where our cloth shows up. Let's fix it up on the other side as well using hot glue. Fold and attach the edges just like that. Brilliant! Get your mouse a comfy surface. Instead of an overly smooth tabletop, Let's get those smooth victories. Oh, that's a difficult one. Only the true mouse guru will be able to- <gasps> What? There's still a way to go, isn't there, Emily? Well, at least the break time was way more enjoyable. Tick, tack. Ah, Emma won again. 
let's face it, Emily, strategic thinking is not one of your strongest traits. You ran out of paper already. Better not let the teacher see that doodly mess. Emma has another one to spare, but Emily just thought of something more reusable. Let's not waste more paper. After all, it comes from trees. Glue a big tic-tac-toe board to the cover of your notebook. Add some X's and O's at the bottom. Instead of a pen, use some colorful paper clips. Left, right, middle, yes! This time, victory belongs to Emily. Now simply put the paper clips on the cover and use the notebook as you normally would. No more messy pages. Emma is organizing a board game party. And the best way to destroy friendships is to start with Star Wars themed Monopoly. Somehow the whole box is unorganized and we're missing the actual board. This is definitely not a good way to start the game. BAM! The poster frame just fell off. This is totally not going as planned. Oh hey, look at that, here's our Monopoly board. It looks like we're back in business. Hmm, they kind of go quite well together, don't you think? Let's lay down the frame and remove the old picture. Take out the glass and place the board game there instead. Put the glass cover back and flip it over. We'll stick a couple Velcro pieces on and set it aside for a minute. Meanwhile, we fill the zipper bags with all the figurines, dices, and cards. Zip it up and attach it to the Velcro pieces. Next time you feel like playing a game, simply detach it from the wall and it'll be ready to play in seconds. Not only is it fast to play, but it looks tidy as well. This board game party is banging, Emma.